What's going on, everybody? What's going on? Good afternoon. Good afternoon, y'all. How y'all feeling over here? How y'all feeling over here? Yep. Y'all know um, Mo can pull things off. Mo will pull things off, man, because I'm, I'm, I'm a real. I'm from the hood, you know, and um, I got common sense. All it takes is common sense to go ahead and just bring out the truth, to bring out the bomb, to, to let everything explode, okay? I have a guest right here, a guest named JB, and he's pro-black. You know what I'm saying? Right here, man. You know, and uh, I, I agree. I always uh, down for discussions and intellectual conversations, you know, and I, I believe that you don't have to have my views to sit up there, for, you know, to, to really, you know what I'm saying, for we can be on the same page, you know, but we can still be on the same page, but have different views, you know, without this is this, 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 this is what you call making. This is the true meaning of keeping America great, keep America great by doing it. It's not about just. Let's just look out for conservative. Let's go ahead and just talk to conservative. Let's just preach to the choir, right? So, uh, so I had already introduced him as JB. So, uh, what's up, JB? How you doing, man? I'm doing, I'm doing all right, man. I'm doing all right. Just, uh, just wanted to start a discussion forum with you okay. about some of these issues going on. We had our differences in the past. I still don't agree with most of mm -hmm. the views that you have. I don't agree with most of yours either. I know you don't. <laughs> See, either, either one, one or two things is gonna happen. Either we gonna uh, agree to disagree. At the end of this session, mm -hmm. or are we gonna agree? One of us will agree with the other. Yeah. So I'm not here to try and um, convince you to agree with me. Mm -hmm. I'm just here to shoot the shit and tell you about the issues that I think you are and anybody else that support Donald Trump is avoiding. Okay. Okay. That, that's good. That's good. That's All good. Right. So, uh, so you are pro-black, right? I am. Uh, what, uh, I mean, what, why do you call yourself pro-black? Um, I consider myself pro-black because of the views that was instilled in me, the things I believe in, um, and most commonly the area that I live in and I reside in. Okay. It's got a whole lot to do with the way I feel about um, us as a people. Mm -hmm. uh, it has nothing to do with discrediting anything that anybody of a different race has done okay. or they're trying to do. It's all about what has happened in the past and what's happening now right here in the, the present. Okay. All right. Do you think that... Um like what's happening now? Do you? Um, I mean, we, we discussed this before. Do you? Uh, do you feel that? Uh, like, like who you feel that are the oppressors? Since you're pro-black, I mean, who, who are who are the one who are the oppressors? Who's the oppressor or who is the oppressee? Um, if you're talking about the oppressors, mm -hmm. I think everybody is oppressed. I, okay. That means white, black, okay. Hispanic, all okay. right, uh, Asian. We're talking about all peoples of different races and mm -hmm. different backgrounds. The oppressors are the political figures, though. Those are the guys that's keeping us down because okay. it's it's a game out here. If you ask me, a political figure is no more than a general manager. So the white man not keeping us down? I'm not going to say he ain't keeping us down, but if he's in that po political figure, he's that yeah. political figure, he's mm -hmm. got that position to do that, you better believe, whether he's a Democrat or Republican, yeah. he's keeping us down. Like, 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 like myself, uh, you know... I don't believe white people can. My, my thing is, it takes two to tangle on things, and uh, like I believe a lot of the white. Uh, remember, I told you about the white liberals. Yeah. They, they, they're the ones who's pandering black people to, 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 to stay in poverty, and, and I think a lot of black people just walk around just playing a victim. Like, okay, the white man treat me like this, why I'm down. You know what I'm saying? That's why. I'm, that's why I can't get a job because of the white man. But but you, they can succeed and do anything. You know what I'm saying? So just sit there and have this plantation mind and blame everything on the white man. You know, what's your thoughts on that? Well. <clears throat> You're probably you're probably about 50-60% right in okay. that faction. Now, anybody and everybody that you hear complaining about a white man keeping them down, mm -hmm. I wouldn't necessarily say that that person is blaming the white man. Not everyone. I'm saying everyone. Some mm -hmm. people do that. They That's their scapegoat, right? That's their scapegoat. Not every black person that you hear complaining about that. The fact of the matter is the words are limited as to what they want to say, what they need to say as to how they feel and who they feel are keeping them down mm -hmm. versus them keeping themselves down as well. Now, I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to say that you're right in that particular, partic particular sense, but I do believe that you have a valid point yeah. in that particular sense. So, um, it's not all black people. Um, the people that think that the white men are holding them yeah. down. No, 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 never said it was all black people. Okay, now you, know, you I, I just said you know you, you got most black people in the hood. You know, like people out in the streets that 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 that, that uh, have that mentality. So those people on the streets that had a mentality, are we speaking of? I mean, because this matters. Are we speaking of an age range of 
15 to 20, or are we speaking from those guys that's been through some it's, it's 25, it's, it's 35? All, it's, all, it's all ages because we all been through some things, you know. But I, Well, yeah, we're we going to have to agree to disagree with that too because I'm sorry, I don't care what color you are. You're 20 years old, you ain't been through shit. You haven't. Mm -hmm. Your life is just beginning. You don't know anything about any mm -hmm. political figure. Yep. If you voted, you voted once in yep. your life. Mm -hmm. You know, if, if, if you ever got into any political debates or discussions, it's only because you joined in a conversation. Right. You know, so those guys right there, I'm not going to say that their opinion doesn't count, but where this where this particular matter that we're talking about here now, this discussion, mm -hmm. it really doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. uh, we're talking about people that's, that's actually voted two, three, four times already in a lifetime. That's seen two or three different presidents come across and um, seeing the work and the effort that supposedly they put in okay. to make it better out here for us. Talking about those people, so. Okay, I got a question for y'all. We, 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 we never even talked about this a day in our life. Okay. You know, what do you feel about the uh, Kanye West situation? <laughs> on TZ. Did you see him on, on TZ? Did you see him on there? I did. Okay, I, 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 saw him on I, I want your take on this one. Everybody listen. You know, we all we can agree to disagree. He might agree, who he might not. I'm pretty sure he probably won't want to agree with me. But let, let's go ahead. Well, the Kanye West situation is concerned. His the one outburst, the most recent outburst, anyway. Um, I truly believe that Kanye West is an attention seeker. I don't think he has any political views okay. on any matter. I think he's an attention seeker, and just like his wife, just like everybody else that's got some some kind of connection with that family, rather it be a, okay. a, a husband or or anybody else that's got connection with that family, man, mm -hmm. they're all attention seekers. When the limelight stops, okay. when the press stops, mm -hmm. when the attention is going away from a person that's used to getting that right. on a regular basis, okay. they're going to re resort and do anything they can to get a little bit of attention from us, from okay. society. Mm. That's how I feel about Kanye West. Hey. I really don't think he has a view on anything. At work you don't think he's a Trump supporter? Trump. You know, I mean, what do you think about people have uh, attacking him because he said he loved Trump, though? He never said he was a Trump supporter. He said he loved Trump. What do I think about the people that's attacking him? Yeah. Like Snoop Dogg. And, you know. Well, they, they are, they are um, what they call celebrities. I don't consider anybody a celebrity, to be honest with you. That's just me. Right. But they are considered celebrities. And if he's got a voice... I think they should have a voice of opinion as to how they feel about the situation mm -hmm. and, and how he uh, he handles himself. Yep, he had to handle um, it, you know. I, I think that uh, a Snoop Dogg is, uh, he's a pioneer, as you know, as well as I do in a rap game, mm -hmm. right? Uh, but I don't take anything he says to heart either because right. I, I remember not too long ago him uh, pretty much looking pretty chummy and shit with Donald Trump on TV. Mm. Um, I remember him roasting Donald Trump at Donald Donald Trump's roast on MTV. Mm. Which was, which even though they're roasting you and, and making fun of you, yeah. it's still supposed to be a podium of guys that respect the guy that you're roasting. Yeah. So I really don't I really don't take anything Snoop says to heart where that's concerned either. Oh, that's what's up, man. You know, at least you came with a more in, you know intelligent conversation than I hear a lot of <laughs> well, I, I mean, it's just, I think it's all just a matter of, of opinion. And I, I really believe if Kanye West sold two or three million records mm -hmm. the week before that discussion or that, that uh, comment he made about Donald Trump, it would have came out totally different. Okay. If, if, if his supporters were 75% black that bought his albums, yeah, I think it would have been a different conversation and a different, uh, I don't know, a different way he would have put yes, that. Yes. If it was 75% white people supporting his his album that just went platinum, then he probably would have phrased it that way or at least phrased it where more Trump supporters or more people that supported his album okay. would like and take to. So whatever whatever the conversation uh, Kanye West is, is having, rather it's Trump or rather it's music, mm -hmm. whatever benefits him, I yeah. think is what's going to come out of his mouth. Okay, um... I had another question for you, and uh, you, you said you're going to talk more about it. Sorry do you, about that, people. <laughs> uh, do you think uh, Donald Trump is a racist? I'm, I've never really a judge of character by a man that I don't know, so I can't judge and, and tell you that Donald Trump is a racist. What I've seen with Donald Trump is he's a bigot. I think he's prejudiced, which is a big difference, people, between racism. Prejudice, being a prejudiced person versus being a racist person is totally different. I believe he's prejudiced to the fact that, or uh, to the fact that he's got, he's the haves. 
And there's a whole lot of have-nots out here that he knows nothing about. And I don't think he cares to know anything about the have-nots. I think Donald Trump is in the world of, of his and only his. He's kind of like, have you ever seen that cartoon character, Bobby? Remember Bobby's World? Mm -hmm. That's Donald Trump. That's Donald Trump. He's, but, but, he's the character from Bobby's but world. But you still have not gave me a point why he's, why he's uh, you know, why he's racist, why he don't... I, I never said he was racist. You said he was uh, with a bigot. He's a bigot. A bigot. So you don't think that he disliked black people? I don't think it's just black people. I don't think Donald Trump gives two shits about anybody that's not in his tax bracket. That means you. That means me. That means anybody else that supports him that ain't making six figures, at least six figures. Uh, if you can... If you can tell me or give me an example of one time Look, you seen Donald Trump do anything. Lowest black, low, lowest black unemployment rate rate. And, since uh, when? Come on, it's been many years, man. It's since been when? Many years. It's been since many when? years. It's been like since the 60s. I'm telling you, man. They said the same thing, and I, I just <sighs> I just want to make this clear. They said the same thing Biggest tax when Obama was in office. I'm not an Obama supporter either. Okay. <laughs> they said the same thing. They said it was the lowest, the lowest it had been in, since uh, the Clinton days. That's, that was bullshit. I, I, I didn't hear them say that. They said that millions of times. Uh -huh. Obama supporters said that. <laughs> Just like you Trump supporters are saying <laughs> no. now that unemployment is the lowest it's been in years. I've never See, it's a revolving door. <laughs> it's just I've a revolving door, that. man. You know why you haven't heard that? Because President Trump, I respect him that much, has mm -hmm. been in the office for what? Two and a half years now almost? Mm-hmm. So, anything you hear negative about Donald Trump because you support him, goes in either one ear and out the other, or completely just doesn't even cross your mind when somebody's telling you about it. Just like now, if you can show me some statistics that really state unemployment as low as it's been in umpteen years, like y'all say, then I'm willing to shut up about it. I'll show you because some you... statistics later on, because I have the statistics. Okay. I just don't have it right here. I'll show it to you later okay. on. I'll show it to a lot of people. They're still in here. And you have the right to be out. You can go ahead. You know, like I said, we got yeah, to, be out because we, they we don't got want to serve the snowflakes too. That they don't, they don't want to face the, exactly the and issue. So, the real issues is not about you people <laughs> or me supporting <laughs> politics. It's about you doing the research yourself and figuring out what we need to do as a unit. I mean, white, black, Asian, Hispanic, doing as a unit to correct the issues. If you continue to co to depend on these political figures, then the same outcome is mm. going to come every time, mm. which is nothing. Which is nothing. It's absolutely nothing. So, it's just my yeah. opinion. You know, it's your opinion. It's your opinion. You know, I, you know, I disagree. You know what you're saying. You know, but uh, you got that right it, too. It's 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 a lot of stuff that 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 Trump had done in y'all eyes, and y'all <clears> have <throat> y'all have never. It's like y'all get close minded about it. You know, it's you know because uh, what, what about the tax cuts, man? Uh, come come on now. What about how he uh did good things? How remember these uh, basketball players uh -huh. that stole up in China? You know, and Trump got him out. I mean, it's, every time Trump do something good, y'all don't want to see the good in the I'm not going to say Trump didn't, didn't <laughs> support or help these young gentlemen out of a situation that they were in. Here's the bottom line. And that's a one isolated incident that happened in a country that ain't even ours. I don't, I'm going to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. If they stole over here, they would face the consequences, right? Right. How come when they're over there still and they just didn't face the consequences? I don't give a damn what color they were. No, they would have. What would have happened is they would have been down there for tortured in jail. I mean, their crimes are different when you get caught still out there. It would have been years. Their laws years. are different. Laws are different. Laws yeah, are different. absolutely. And so it wouldn't have been a misdemeanor. So or just a, why is that any concern of ours? Because because he's black, we supposed to be concerned. No. It's so the, why is it any concern? Because of if you'd have got anybody out, if you'd have got anybody uh -huh. out, you know, I, I'm I'm just saying, you know. Every time Trump does something good, people like have a closed mind on it. You know, it's like it's like they don't want to be open. You know, you know, you know, like they they, they want to feel that oh he's he's a bigot, he's this, he's this, he's a president, he's he's racist, and you know they don't want to find the good in this man. You know, they, they didn't, he wasn't racist until he became president or ran for president. Remember that all the pictures that people took with him. Yeah, I remember that. You remember Al Sharpton all of a sudden, the Spike Lee, now all of a sudden. I remember that. Spike Lee, you know what I'm saying, says he's racist. <laughs> and see, I'm, that's what I'm saying. I'm not, you know, those guys, I, unfortunately, we can't speak for everybody that has a political view on this figure. Um, I'm just speaking for myself. And I, I've never said Trump was racist. I hold stand and I hold uh, firm in believing that I believe Trump is a bigot and I believe he's, he's prejudiced. To anybody that's not 
his kind. And I don't mean white people his okay. kind. I'm talking about rich people. Okay. I'm talking about rich people. You're talking about rich people. I mean, Trump, well, hey, he, 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 he was born a billionaire. Yeah, he was. <laughs> so how can you, what I, I don't understand is how can people that support him that were not born into wealth, how can you identify with any of the topics or agree with any of the topics that we present in front of him? And and he comes okay. up with this. He donated more money to the NAACP than Oprah. I ain't got nothing to do with Oprah, what she donated to the NAACP. <laughs> she, Oprah, Oprah might be donating to her family as well. You know, I don't know what, what her situation is. And I'm not making no excuses for her. But just like Trump donated so much more money to to uh to this cause versus Oprah, there's people that's donated a whole lot more money than Trump that has less money than right. they have to different I mean, causes. I know the more money yeah, like the more money should even matter, you know what I'm saying? The more no, money it should. It but, should. you know, you, you you donate. I I get that, you know, but it's a lot of stuff, man. And uh, like these people are so busy like hating on a president. Hating on a president, you know. Like, oh, he's not my president, he did this. But instead of worrying about the real issues, we got like starving people out there. We got I mean, we got people just, just dying out here. Absolutely. Man. You Absolutely. know, but people so worried about, it's like they, they lose focus. They, they even take that Kanye West incident. I'm t- even tired of talking about the Kanye's. You know, oh, Kanye, Kanye. They, they look for the Hollywood. They look for stuff that's on Hollywood, in Hollywood, instead of just look for the real issue that's going on. Right. It's always like, they, you know, why, why they can't protest out here against drug dealers? You know, I, I'm just saying, you got people protesting downtown. I mean, what's wrong with protesting against the crime out here? Let's just put the picket sign and say we tired of crime out here. You know, protest against that. I'm talking about conservatives too. I I agree with you. Um, I can't. I just can't speak for everybody, man, on this topic here. I'm I'm just I'm just here to discuss uh, the views as far as the way I see them go and the people that I communicate with on a daily basis how they feel about this situation. Mm-hmm. We got a lot of fools out here, man. We're not gonna we lie do. and tell you we don't. We do. Um, there's a lot of things that's happening in the inner, inner city that should be discussed uh starting with the alderman. Okay. I mean we can we can put Trump at the top tier. Okay. And twelve men down. Yeah. We start from the alderman up. It's a lot of issues that need to be discussed and, and taken through them first. And it doesn't happen okay. because a lot of people are bullshitters. Okay. And so I, I consider whoever you were talking about was protesting downtown. Mm-hmm. I don't know what the hell they was doing down there. Like you said, they should have right. been in the city. But it's a lot of issues, man, that that we as a people, and I'm mm-hmm. talking to your followers too, mm-hmm. we as a people have to discuss and take care of ourselves, man, Amen. because the political views of, of, of ours are totally different from the political views of the leaders. They are not going to take our side or see things the way we see them because we live in this shit every day and they don't. That's just that's just common sense, see, man. I have no political views. Uh, I was, after Obama, after I voted for Obama the first time around, I didn't vote the second time around. I said I was done voting. Next time I vote, it's going to be a guy who's not a politician. I would never vote again. And then I, I seen someone that's not a politician. So you know? that's what pretty much made you want to vote for Trump. Yeah, yeah because he's, a politician. he's not a politician. He's about America first. You know? and I mean, that's, that's what I seen with him, America first. We tied these illegals. Get these illegals out of here, man. These illegals are terrorizing our country. MS-13 and... Uh, you know, ISIS, look what they have done. You know, so it, 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 it goes back to gun control. To the Democrats, the, 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 left, the left is trying to take away our our, our, our guns. You know, like same way Hitler did it. That, that, that's the way I'm looking at it. You know, we have the right to bear arms. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, we do, absolutely. I mean, come on. Well, absolutely, come we got now, the right man. to bear arms. I, and and, uh, and, I, and I, it's something I, I discussed it before. I, I say this all the time. Black Democrats are not liberals. Only white liberals are, you know. Yeah. If you, you 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 can you can see this myself. You go in the hood, you can ask any black person in the hood, are you a liberal? They'll they'll say what? They don't know what it is, right. you know. Right. Or they'll say no, no. They Democrats. Liberals are them white, you know, them white people are with the blue hair and the lip pierce. You know who I'm talking about? Walking around supporting Planned Parenthood more and the LGBT. I'm just saying. I'm I'm just I'm just saying. White liberals are the one who is who is pandering black people and. And, and I just wish a lot of people wake up on both sides, you know. This is, I get it over here. You got these fake conservatives, too. You got these conservative snowflakes over here. So when you disagree with them, they ready to say, oh, you a sellout, you know. Oh, I'm a sellout right now. If someone got pissed because I'm doing a video with a pro-black dude right here. So we- that's, that's pretty much how it is, man. I mean, everybody's, it's, it's almost like pick and choose. You know what I mean? You either pick this side or you pick that side. Mm-hmm. And that's not me. So if, yep. if, if uh. If that hurts anybody's feelings because of the conversation me and Moe was having today,
today. I'm sorry, but I don't agree with his views, and I definitely don't agree with being either Democrat, Republican, or conservative. You heard that? I vote for whoever I feel Phil? is going to be the best candidate to make America mm -hmm. what it should be. It should be. So that's it. It wasn't It wasn't about Hillary Clinton when elections came around. A couple of years ago, it wasn't about Donald Trump. It wasn't mm -hmm. about either one of those two. So, uh, so uh, I, th I'm, I don't know if I asked you this before. So uh, do you think uh, a lot of Trump supporters are racist, white supremacists? I, I hear that from a lot, a lot of pro-black people. I, I think I, what we've seen here in the last year and a half or so is a lot of Donald Trump supporters that were not rather uh they weren't really political at all figures they, they didn't care about any politics too much at all except for what was happening around them i think what we've seen happen here in the last year and a half mm -hmm. are a bunch of people that didn't have a voice at all so okay. the voice or whatever donald trump speaks of versus what hillary clinton okay. is speaking okay. of they decided to take sides mm. they took donald trump's side wow. and i'm not saying they were wrong for it but i really don't think those people had a voice before any of this started i was um talking you know, I talk to tons of Trump supporters every day, right? And the ones I talk to, I used to be a Democrat. I'm only a first-time voter, a second-time voter. You know, I feel like, finally feel like I belong to something. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Patriots, you know what I'm saying? This is a movement. This ain't even, that's why we call a lot of these Republicans rhinos. Because we don't like Paul Ryan. So come on now, do y'all like Paul Ryan? No, he's a freaking rhino. You know what I'm saying? We glad he gone. You know what I'm saying? You know, so but you know, he was, Trump was one of his biggest supporters, right? Trump was one of his he's biggest saying. supporters. Yeah, yeah. You know, he was. You know what I'm saying? He supported him, but uh, Rhino, you know what I'm saying? Paul Ryan didn't support him though. You know, he was trying to do some stuff behind closed doors. You know, okay. You know, it, of course. You know, it, it, it was. The, you know, what I'm saying he's he ran under. Republic. So why do you why do you why do you think Trump supported him? But you guys don't agree with his views. Why do you think Trump supported Ryan? You know what? As a uh, as being a conservatives, we have to like really stick together. They I, they they didn't agree with each other in the be beginning because I remember uh, actually when it came up here, you know, and even Trump said it. I heard Trump said this at the uh, at a Trump ride I had went up to down here. They they said get it off of Paul Ryan, and it was like boo boo boo. You know what I'm saying? And then Trump was like, be nice, be nice. He told everybody to be nice. He said, I know he gonna he gonna probably run against me in the future. He said it right there. You know what I'm saying? Them two never really saw eye to eye. Okay. They they, they really never saw eye to eye. But we all got to get along. You know what I'm saying? Like you got to man, I got like it, it'd be some conservatives that I don't get along with. I see them at a rally. I got to go ahead and swallow everything to go ahead and do my speech and they do their speech. You know, it's the same way when you have a job. You don't like people at work. <laughs> Yeah, you don't like them, but you go to work. The, the difference is when we go to work, we go to work. I know I go to work for one main reason, whether I like my job or not. I go to work to make money. Mm -hmm. I don't go in a customer's house to deal with their bullshit. Okay. I don't go on the pole to do telephone because I like it. I mm -hmm. do it to make money. Okay. So my thing is with, with their positions and their jobs being so much more important than, than mine and yours, how do you expect or how do they expect even for things to change, mm -hmm. if you even agreeing with a person when you know their views are wrong, it's a revolving but, but, door. But Trump knows what the game. Happen. Come on, you know Trump knows the game. He know he, he prepared. He know the rich game. I don't know about the political game. No, he game, know he, but he know this political stuff game. I don't know about the political this, game. No, because it's the, the political stuff is a game. I, I'm studying this political game. I'm knowing this political game. I mean, yeah, but it, that's, it's a game. Don't you think that's out of Trump's? Don't you think that's out of his uh, jurisdiction? Don't you think that he? He kind of bit off a little bit more than he can chew, never never being a political no. figure. No, he, and pretty he, much being, he was pretty much branded into this role as president, man. Because, honestly, you tell me one guy, Ross Perot back in 1992, was rich as hell, had all the qualifications of being president, was esteemed to be a stand-up guy, never had any issues with no, anybody outside of the people that just disliked him because he was Ross Perot. Hmm. He didn't make it. He didn't make it as president. What makes you think Donald Trump qualifies any more than he did? He qualifies. Why? You know. You know? Why? Look at the business that he have uh, taken care of, man. What Lowest, business? Lowest, lowest, un Let's un talk lowest, about that. Un lowest unemployment. I mean, I mean, come on now. We're going back to that. that without the proof, though. Without, oh, the, yeah. without the numbers. Numbers don't lie, right? So when proof is presented, you can't you can't argue it. So you never but saw no, the numbers. You, no. you never saw the numbers. Presented. Unemployment numbers. For Trump, as far as them, as far as them being low as they've ever been, or low as they've been in in decades, no, I haven't seen those numbers. No. I don't want to. See I, I need to see those numbers. And then while we're waiting for those numbers to, for you to bring them to my attention, okay, 
give me another example of what Trump has done to uh, make America great again, as he said. I don't know what the fuck that means. <laughs> Just saying. Jobs at the Motor City. In Detroit? Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah. What about the water prices in Detroit? Oh, my in God. In Flint, Michigan. What about those? What about it? I mean, what are you saying about it? I mean... Are those people supposed to just die or get sick um, because nobody because nobody wants to help them out? Nobody nobody can see the issue here. We're talking about Trump distributing and, and creating jobs in Detroit, but people are dying in Flint, Michigan. Flint, Michigan has been actually getting better, and people are not drinking that water. That's that that wasn't the last. That I've heard. That that wasn't the last thing I heard in, in regards to that incident. It was still pretty bad over there, Mo. And um, I really don't think, I really don't think Trump has done too much to create jobs in Detroit either. Because if you look at the census in Detroit, the numbers have not changed for the better. They've changed for the worse. Neighborhoods are still getting torn down over there. You got neighborhoods in Detroit right now, two houses on a block that are occupied, but there's actually 15 or 16 houses on that block that are set down and boarded up. Mm. There's homeless people all over the world, man, okay. including Detroit. So if we're talking about Detroit and helping the situation get better there. They're not doing anything in the inner city where the situation is really bad. At. So I don't I don't know where, they, where the help is coming from in Detroit. It's coming to the manufacturers that's already got the money. But look, everything, thing doesn't happen overnight, though. You know what I'm saying? See, that's the problem. When we, when we get these people in the office, we, we, people would expect things to happen overnight. I don't expect them to happen overnight. I, ex I expect you to do what is said is being done. And if it's not being done, why open your mouth and talk about it yet? Until it's actually done, man. You understand what I mean? That's, that's almost like me telling you that the Chicago Bears, this is just the insider between me and him, is going to win the Super Bowl next year. But they finished the season being having that record they had this year. What were y'all like six and whatever it was, five and whatever it is? Right. Without five the proof, 11. I don't give a damn if you got Tom Brady, if you got every wide receiver in the league that's uh from number one to number three on your team and the best running mm -hmm. back in the league, best offensive line, best defensive line. The fact of the matter is it hasn't been proven. These numbers that we keep talking about where Trump is concerned and what he's done to help people are not presentable. You can't present them to me. Nobody can. I haven't seen them, man. That's all I'm saying. You they actually seen speak them. louder than words. Mm. You know? I mean, the proof was right in your face, man. I mean, Where? just go and Google. I mean, just look at the proof, man. I mean, just look at the proof, dude. Where? It's, are, it's, are we talking about Googling the proof? Yeah, it's, through, it's right there. Through, it, through one of the uh, the websites that, that you guys follow or one that I follow? Because I can tell you now. If I look at one of the websites you follow versus the one I follow, the numbers are going to be totally different. It's not gonna. There's not gonna be any. Uh, not necessarily. It's not gonna be totally different. Well, we can do that now. You know, if you want. Right, but I, no, I don't have a computer with me. Nothing. Oh, okay. So I wish. I, that's what I'm saying. Maybe we can discuss this at another time. Yeah, absolutely. You absolutely. know, because I would love to have you back on here. Absolutely. And we I mean, can have a discussion, and you can always prove yourself with numbers. And just like yep. I'm asking you to show me the numbers, I'll show you the numbers that I've seen. Mm. You know, and it's, it's 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 sad out here, man. We are in everybody else's business except for what's going on here in America. He doesn't have a clue. Okay, all right, you out of here. Well, all right. okay, I was just about to say, if I don't have a clue, why don't you join in the conversation then, and and show me what clue did you have? Tell me tell me what information you got that's gonna change my mind about the way I feel. I mean, we can talk all day, but without the proof. Listen, it's everybody. Just talk. Listen, everybody. When you see me on a video with a person that you know I'm gonna disagree with, you know. You know, uh, you, of course, we're gonna disagree with him. He probably thinks that I don't have a clue. I'm, 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 just, I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It's called agreeing to disagree, you know. And, uh, you know, I come up with facts, and he come at me with supposedly facts. <laughs> Two different opinions. Two different opinions. Two different opinions. See, you heard what I said? I said supposedly facts because maybe I don't think they're facts. Uh, un until somebody can can come <laughs> and present these facts. Whether it be me and you or somebody else at this round table, then everything that is spoken here is opinion. Yeah. If you people can't get with that and join in, I'm sorry. Man. Uh, but dude, it's, it's been a good conversation we had, you know, and uh, let me see how long I've been on here. We've been on here. Oh, yeah. Our time is up. Our time is up, y'all. And, um, man, thank you for coming on here, Absolutely, man. Absolutely, man. JB, man. Absolutely. Much love to you. And, uh, Man, it's, it's a lot of stuff we're going to have to talk it about. It is a lot of stuff. And uh, I want to congratulate you, man, on um, your accomplishments. Thanks, and, man. Uh, 
I look forward to talking to you in the future. Next time we we uh, shoot the shit, we'll have a little bit more uh, proof from your end and from mine. Right, right. Have things written down, but right now we're just having a discussion, you know. And uh, and like 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 remember I told you the other day, I had a uh, a conversation with some other pro black guys, you know, so intellectual conversation, you know, what I'm saying two of them. And we talked, and it was kind of cool, and and that's it. And and, and, and th this is what I want to do. That's why I said I'm not gonna sit there and try to out talk you. I'm gonna listen. We can you can listen to me. I'm not gonna be all like talking over you. You know what I'm saying? We are gonna listen. That's the only way we can get down to the problem here in America, is listening. You know Absolutely. What I'm okay. Before I go, my actually one more thing is Trump your president? Donald Trump is my president because he is the president of the United States. That's enough all said. Is. Enough said. Remember when you wake up in the morning. Trump will still be your president. You dig?